I recently got a 3D printer and after some messing around with some small prints, I wanted to start a short project. I had a light lying around with no fixture to fit it in, so this sent me down the rabbit hole of whether I could design and 3D print a lamp, and bonus points if it actually looked good. And yeah, it looked pretty good. If you're not particularly interested in how I designed and printed it, and you only want a printable lamp, well then skip to the end where I'll show you an improved version and Fusion project and files. For the lamp, I wanted a simple yet bougie design. The simpler it is, the easier it'll be to print. I wanted something that doesn't look 3D printed. Ideally, the lamp would fit amongst all of the other furniture in a house. I wanted no supports for ease of printing, and I wanted the design to be made of various interchangeable components which would aid in the prototyping process. For my inspiration, I had a search through Google Images and the Mail Living Space subreddit, and I came across this tripod design. This is exactly what I wanted. Not only does it look good, but it could easily be designed and printed. So I set to creating the basic shape in Fusion 360. The lamp would consist of only a few parts. We have the lampshade, the lampshade supports, the lamp holder, a small column, a lamp body, and of course, the three tripod legs. All of these parts are flat in at least one axis, and would be 3D printable right off the bat and with no supports, except for the tripod legs, where I cut the inside of each leg flat to create a printable surface. I started doing some test prints, and found that the lampshade and tripod legs were failing. The lampshade was only one layer thick, and without a brim, it would have trouble adhering to the bed. The legs were long and thin, which tended to warp, so I added a brim to these too. Next, I did a dry fit to see how everything works. At this stage, I came across some issues that I hadn't foreseen. These supports were dependent on glue to sit inside the base, and the tolerance was too large, so they kept falling out, which made them a nightmare to glue. And even after gluing them in, you could see that the lampshade was very misaligned. And I figured I'd just have to come up with a better design instead of trying to get this one to work. The next day, I designed a new way to support the lampshade, which involved two supports that sat deeper in the body and loosely held the lampshade from its top. This way, the lampshade would level itself. Plus, with the added surface area on the lampshade, we'd be able to print it without a rim. Win-win. At this stage, the end was in sight. My initial plan was to get a decent design figured out and printed, followed by the next stage, which would involve sanding and wood filler, and figuring out the final colours which I'd spray paint the parts in. I sanded the brims off of the tripod legs and went to smooth the prints using wood filler. This ended up being a little messier than I imagined. I mixed wood filler with white spirit, and I reckon I must have used the wrong kind of filler here because it took ages to dry and it was super messy. I was applying wood filler to the lampshade, which was applying super unevenly, and before going any further, I figured I'd check what it would look like while it was lit. And it looked awful. While the other parts would turn out decent, I would have to find a better solution for the lampshade. As I was going to sleep that night, I happened to stumble across a video from Jake Grimm about removing layer lines by printing with fuzzy skin. I used the exact same settings as in his video, and did a reprint the next morning. My first print failed with bed adhesion, so I just increased the bed temperature and tried again. While the lampshade was printing out, I went to finish the rest of the parts. I sprayed everything down black. I didn't record this part, so here's an accurate representation of what it was like. And afterwards, the lamp parts were finished, so I went to do a dry fit. So the lampshade may have taken four times longer with the fuzzy skin, but it easily looks four times better. Look at that. <laughs> That's beautiful. Even with some imperfections, I'm delighted with how this turned out. So thank you, Jake, and I really recommend you go check out his video. With the lampshade looking amazing and the parts finished, next was wiring the plug, the switch, and then assembling everything together. 
the tripod legs would have to be super glued in place, but everything else would just slot together. So close to the finish line, but then I encountered another oversight. The lamp assembly was just too tall to fit within the lampshade. I quickly modified the lamp holder to fit the entire bottom half of the light. And this worked like a charm. There was just enough room. I couldn't keep this turned on for too long as a CFL bulb would melt the plastic. But a few days later, my LED bulbs arrived from Amazon and these would work perfectly. And with a few more adjustments to the design, I would definitely be able to put a few of these around my house. I'm going to quickly go through some things that I didn't get to cover in the video. And one of these is strain relief. So without strain relief, it's possible for the live wires to come out of the lamp, but there are numerous easy fixes. One is that you could put some hot glue in the column to secure the wire, which would come off easily with white spirits. You'd be able to wrap the wire with electrical tape, or you could print something off or even buy something. The important thing here is to secure these wires and stay safe above everything else. And another thing is that due to the lamp being printed, it's super light and it can slide around based on the weight of the cable. So one idea here would be to adjust the feet slightly, making the bottom of the feet a little bit rougher would increase the friction. Alternatively, adding some rubber pads to the bottom of the feet could probably work, or even printing off some inserts to increase the surface area of the feet. But what I've done for my lamp is that I've simply wrapped the cable around one of the legs of the lamp which increases the stability, but it's not a perfect solution. So please take into consideration these two points, especially the first one, and take them seriously because messing with mains power is no joke. Hey guys, so I've just finished recreating the lamp in Fusion 360 because the first version was an iterative process and it was super messy and there was parameters all over the place and leftovers from previous versions. Um, so. Yeah, this version will be a lot more cleaner. Um, and actually, this is my second time filming this because the first time I forgot to hit record. So I felt like a bit of a fool then when I finished it up and I was like, grand, that's done. And then I had to do it all over again. So let's go ahead and go through the parts. So obviously, um, we have our tripod legs, which sit inside of the lamp body here with a little bit of a, a tolerance. Um, likewise, we've got the lampshade supports, which sit in their own slots with a little bit of a tolerance. Then we've got the socket here and column. So the column is where your cable will, will go inside. The socket is the part which will hold your light bulb and light. Um, so for this lamp socket, you'll want to measure the bottom half of your light bayonet. You'll be able to adjust the diameter of this and hopefully you'll be able to get a press fit going on and without too much work. One of the improvements that I did make actually over the original version is I've made these little sockets here. Whereas in the original version, the lampshade supports would be prone to slipping out. Well, in this version, I got a nice little socket with a bit of tolerance around it. So one of the things that I've done is I have remade and commented all of the parameters. So you'll be able to adjust this to exactly how you would need it. So obviously I was restricted by my printer bed size and things like that. And I wanted a desk lamp. So that's kind of the way that I've made it. Um, but if you would say want to make a floor lamp, it, you'd want it to be a little bit higher. You want the lamp sheet to be a little bit thicker. So, you know, you can, you can do all that through here. So if you want the lamp sheet diameter to be, so let's say for a floor lamp, you'd want to increase that to something like 30. And then it looks a little bit silly, but then we'll just increase the height to 23 and it looks a little better. Um, and then we might want to increase the tripod leg length. Um, so we'd go down here, we'd increase the length to say something like 40 centimeters. And maybe the angle is a bit too much now. So let's increase the angle to 80. 
that's looking a little, a little bit better. Um, but we want this lamp body to sit a little bit lower. So we would then adjust the, where is it? It is the uh, body distance from top. So we go here, maybe we adjust this to a 25 or something like that. And then this looks a lot better. And we got the nice visual aspect of the body poking down through the lamp here. And then, you know, then we probably run into the issue of we want the light bulb to be kind of more central to the lamp. So it provides even lighting because if it's down here, it's just going to light, light the bottom of the lamp. So maybe then we'll increase the, th the length of the column here. And which we can do with the lamp column length, which is in millimeters. So I'll bump that up to something like 40. And now you can see it's going to sit a little bit higher. And, you know, and just like that, we can print ourselves a little floor lamp. Yeah, so there you go. Um, let's make that a nice little shaded style just so you can see everything. And yeah, there you go. So um, I will put the Fusion project and files in the description. Also, you might have some additions to make or some improvements to make to the lamp, uh, to the design or whatever. Um, you know, you can feel free to do that. And if you want, please leave a comment down below um, with your improvements, you know. Um, you know, we can maybe share those improvements with everybody else who wants to print this lamp as well. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I'll leave the project files in the description. And yeah, thanks for watching and happy printing.